Hey everyone, my name is Troy uh, from Tag Games Etc. And today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your PS3 hard drive from start to finish. This is going to be your 100% walkthrough. You don't have to go no further than this video. So today um, I'm going to not only show you how to upgrade your PS3 hard drive, I'm going to also show you how to format your external hard drive in order to back up the old information from your um, PS3 onto it. I'm going to show you how to format your external hard drive to FAT32. So what are you going to need uh, to in order to do this upgrade? First of all, you're going to need to get um, your new in internal hard drive. I got the Momentous LP by Seagate. And it has to be, you have to make sure that it is a 2.5 inch uh, notebook drive. Now, don't don't let the notebook part uh, throw you off. That's what you're just going to need. Um, I went with the 250 gigabyte one, um, which, is, which is absolutely the... Um, as much information you're going to need um, and also make sure that it's a 5400 RPM um, after my research uh, it was recommended that anything above that uh, won't work properly um, so make sure it's a 5400 um, internal hard drive and also that is 2.5 inches as well also you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver which I do have in this electronic repair kit and also you're going to need an external hard drive. This hard drive is going to be used so we can back up all the old stuff that's on a PS3 uh, to it. So, and also I'm going to show you how to format this to FAT32. The most easiest way I, I found. If you can click a mouse, trust me, it's going to be an easy process formatting this uh, to FAT32. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, we're going to have to uh, convert our external hard drive uh, to FAT32 format. Now, why is this important? In order to back up uh, your old information on your PS3 to an external hard drive, the external hard drive has to be formatted to FAT32. Now, I found this website um, through research that will help me do that. It's pretty simple. It's called the uh, Ridge, uh, Ridge Crop Consultants LTD. And uh, if you don't know this website, I'm going to leave it in the, the descriptions. Now, what you got to do is just go to the top part where it says try it here. And you have to click on this picture below. You got to click on this picture below. It will start to download. Because so I'm using... um. Um, I'm using Google Chrome. So what I do is go down here and click open. Just open the file that it's in. And what it's going to ask you is, do you want to allow the following program from an unknown publisher to make changes to this um, computer? And you'll say yes. And what this do, this, um, this will, uh, a window will pop up. Now right here you'll see 320 uh, gigabyte FAT32. Um, as I already uh, formatted this already but it will say like if this is a brand new like Seagate uh, external hard drive it'll say like Seagate 320 hard drive whatever and um, it'll be drive D. So all you have to do is go down here press start Just wait for it. Bam, it's done. And how can you tell it's done? Because the close menu button will be highlighted. You can highlight it. It won't be faded out, um, transparent. So all you have to do is go to close. Now, close your web browser. And how do you know that it's been formatted to FAT32? There is one simple way to know. Um, if you go to go click on your windows uh, this is windows 7 click on your uh, home button and go to computer now the D drive is 
your external hard drive because um, before you format it it will say Seagate or whatever brand um, external hard drive you have but it will say um, local disk drive now but if you if you click on that and go down the file system will say FAT32 now it's converted now let's move on to the next step backing up your stuff to your external hard drive okay now we got our fresh external hard drive converted to FAT32 now what you're going to do with this is actually take this and hook it up to your USB port in your PlayStation 3. Alright, now you're going to go to System Settings. And you're going to go to Backup Utility. Now you're going to uh, press Backup. Now this screen is just says that everything is going to back up except your uh, trophy collection. But if you want to do your trophy collection, it does show you how to uh, back those up as well. But since trophy is not that important to me, I'm going to just go ahead and press yes to continue with the backup process. Now it's going to say, uh, do you want to back up your data to your hard disk, other storage media? We're going to say yes. And you, we're going to select our external uh, hard drive. Now the preparation process is going to take a few moments, but once it recognizes it and goes through with it, it's going to start backing up. And it's and this took about an hour or so. So the backup is completed. Um, it will show you the USB device and also um, how much uh, space it will take up on your external hard drive, which is 30 gigabytes. So we're going to go ahead and install our new uh, PS3 hard drive. Okay, now we got to remove um, the old uh, internal uh, hard drive from the PS3 and install it with our new one. So what you're going to do, uh, first and foremost, you make sure you unplug your, um, your PS3 completely from the wall outlet and from the television completely. Let, um, so let's get started. On the right side, there's this little, little uh, door right here as you can see and what you're going to do is pull that off take your Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew this you'll see a blue uh, screw right here and on my PS3 in order to remove the internal hard drive all you have to do is pull this out and it comes out just like that so this is the hard drive right here and as you can tell look it's a Seagate one as well um, now what you're going to have to do is take it out of this um, this crate uh, crater right here and uh, you have to unscrew these screws right here in order to take it out so you just take your Phillips head screwdriver and start taking it out Now, as you can see, I removed all the screws from it so I can uh, take the hard drive out. And so what you're going to do, back up just a little bit. What you're going to do is take it out. It slides right out. And there you go. This is the old one. And this is the new one. So all we're going to do is repeat the process. Make sure that this one, this part right here is sticking at the bottom. And there you go. Now we got to go and screw all the screws back in. Okay, now I put the new screws in, I mean the, the screws back in for the new hard drive. And what you're going to do is slide it in, slide it all the way back until it catches. Well, you can't slide it back no more. I've also seen other PS3 models where there's a little latch and you got to slide it over, then pull it out. Um, so just pretty much do that if you see like a little metal latch right here. Um, but anyway, so 
So that's installed. Now I gotta screw in the final uh, blue screw. Okay, so the screw is in and all we gotta do is put this back on, the cover back on. Then you close it. Now let's go and plug this thing back up.